Oh, hi, Pastor Nick here. I wanted to share something with you uh, from 1 Peter chapter 5. In 1 Peter chapter 5, uh, verses 6 and 7, uh, Peter writes, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Uh, and Christians are commanded by God uh, a number of times to humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. And this is something that's difficult. Uh, and everything within us seems to want to rise up against this and resist the idea of such a thought. Uh, we're taught that glory comes to those who aggressively make their way in the world. Uh, and in fact, we are taught even at an early age that if we don't get tough with people and stand up for ourselves, we won't learn how to navigate relationships in the real world. Uh, Vance uh, Havner, who was a preacher in the 20th century, uh, put our fears this way. He said, when I started out, the devil said, you mean well, but if you try to stay humble and childlike these days, you'll be run over by the steamroller. Uh, and this is this brings to mind what Pastor Pete has been talking about. In his last sermon, he spoke about uh, being ch like children. Those, who will be, those are the ones who will be the greatest uh, in the kingdom. And so there's this difficulty of what exactly that means or how that works. Uh, but we look here in 1 Peter as he writes about this, and he knows that steamrollers are going to come, figuratively, uh, I hope. Uh, and he is aware that uh, meeting the demands of true grace are not easy. It can be very difficult in our lives. So he follows on the heels of the command uh, with two words, or a couple words here that are meant to encourage us from running in the opposite direction and saying that this is too hard. Uh, the second half of verse 7 says, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you on Jesus. Yes, uh, anxiety and grief uh, are present. It is difficult. Uh, we see all sorts of things going on in the world today where people are very, uh, it's sort of like a raw nerve uh, when you're talking with people. Uh, it used to be about certain subjects, but now uh, I go online and I, I found out that uh, I live in a world where eating a Wendy's hamburger is considered a racist act. At least this was a month ago and and people were upset because Wendy's did or didn't say something. And, and meanwhile, I just thought I kind of like Wendy's hamburgers. <laughs> and I always, always liked Wendy's hamburgers. Uh, but so there's a lot of stuff going on. And so, but we still, God calls us to be humble. Uh, and so while our anxiety and our grief uh, and are here, we also know that God is present as well. He is nearer uh, to us than our anxiety and our grief. And Peter encourages us to pour out our hearts before God in light of the knowledge of his concern, uh, George MacDonald, who was a great 19th century writer, had a mother who put this idea into practice, and she wrote a prayer. Uh, it was dated May 29, 1820, and here is what her prayer says. It says, We come, dear Jesus, to thy throne, to open all our grief. Now send thy promised mercy down, and grant us quick relief. Though Satan rage and flesh rebel, and unbelief arise, will wait around his footstool still, for Jesus hears our cries. We can cast our anxieties on Jesus, and we are supposed to because he is the one who hears our cries. He wants to hear our cries so that he can make it better for us, so that he can take away our anxieties and our grief and remind us that he is there, uh, that he is our loving brother, that he is our savior, that he is our Lord, and he's all-powerful, uh, and he promises that he will always hear our cries. And so that's Peter's words of encouragement for people who are called, who are called to a life marked by humility, uh, which is difficult, uh, but we can cast all of our frustrations and anxieties on Christ uh, because he is the one who hears them. Uh, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I, I thank you uh, that uh, you love us. I pray that you would you remind us that you hear our cries, that though we would be able to cast our anxieties and our fears on you uh, and our worries and know that you hear them, that you listen and you are working all things out. Uh, I pray that you remind us of that and of your goodness and of your power uh, and the compassion that you have towards us as your children. And Father, I pray that you remind us of this every second of every day. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day.